then, but. Good news to share right as we begin. There's been an Easter octave conversion. You are watching the live stream on my new cell phone. I've moved out from the flip into the real world. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit and to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries these easter mysteries we call to mind the goodness of our god and that forgiveness that pours out from his side i confess to almighty god and, and to, to you my brothers, brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever urgent, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, earth peace to people, people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. 
Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer, and a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood, and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known among the nations his deeds, sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength, seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Christians to the Paschal Victim, offer your thankful praises. A hymn the sheep redeems, Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life, who died, reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring 
what you saw wayfaring. The tomb of Christ who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection, bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ by hope is arisen, to Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, victor king, ever reign. Amen. Alleluia. about all the things that had occurred and it happened while they were conversing and debating Jesus himself drew near and walked with them but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him he asked them what are you discussing as you walk along they stopped looked downcast one of them named Cleopas said to him in reply are you the only visitor in Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in, in these days? And he replied to them, what sort of things? They said to him, the things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet, mighty in word, deed and word, before God and all the people, how the chief priests and the rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and followed things just as the women had described. But him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the, prophet, the prophets have spoke! Was this not that the Christ should suffer? Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on further. But they urged him to stay, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in and stayed with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table. He took the bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were open and they recognized him, but he vanished from, the, vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, were not our hearts burning within us while, we, while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The resurrection of Jesus was not readily apparent to his followers. As you probably know, Jesus needed to make a number of appearances to show that he had actually risen. The gospel today is one of those well-known resurrection appearances. And according to Bishop Barron, this scripture reading is a masterpiece within a masterpiece. It's rich with drama, subtle characterization, and theological penetration. The authentic church in nascent form is the creation of Christ the King. The risen Lord has commanded his disciples to mission. And Jesus, the head of the church, shows us how the faithful, the body of the church, can relate and live in communion with him in word and in the sacraments. The two wandering disciples walking the road to Emmaus were doing the same thing as all the other disciples were doing. They got out of Jerusalem, which was very, a very dangerous place for Jesus' followers at that time. Jesus' closest disciples, in the moment of truth, fled. Some denied him, others betrayed him, all opting for their own safety rather than following Jesus. They became lost. Their hope was gone. They didn't know what to do next. They lost their faith in Jesus' teachings, and they were blinded from recognizing him on their own. Jesus sought, Jesus sought the two errant disciples just as he pursues us today. He unobtrusively walked um, with these two as they discussed their worries, their doubts, and the death of Jesus. The good shepherd engaged the followers to bring them back to the fold. The first part of the reading describes something like the liturgy of the word in Mass. Jesus, the teacher, opens up the scriptures to them. His living word announces the good news, which provides the characteristic life of the body of Christ. Each member is strengthening one another through the living word. The light of the world is once again opening the hearts and minds of these disciples and their hearts began to burn. The second part of the reading delineates the liturgy of the Eucharist. Jesus is recognizing the blessing and breaking of the bread, just as Jesus did the night before he died. Jesus the gatherer uses this most powerful gesture to restore the faith of these two disciples. Our faith is also, excuse me, our faith is also strengthened and enlightened as we partake in the body and blood of Jesus Christ during Mass. When Jesus is recognized, he quickly disappeared. Jesus' is appearing and disappearing in other resurrection accounts is common. This is a, symbol, uh, this is a symbolic account um, of commissioning and sending the disciples. Those who encounter the appearances of the risen Lord immediately know that they must go and announce the experience to others. The disciples here were so overjoyed at seizing, seeing Jesus that they immediately set out at night, which, was, which in that day was a very dangerous thing to do, to return to Jerusalem and share their experience with other disciples. That excitement should somehow build in us the same as we're set forth from the Mass with a burning desire to share our faith with others. The Gospel reading is a reminder to us that Jesus loves us. He is always there for us, and we should never lose faith in him, especially in these times of separation and quarantine and uncertainty. Always trust in Jesus. He will make our paths level and straight, and he will make our burden light. I challenge all of you to ask God for the grace and courage to love and comfort others during this pandemic and every day after. Treat others with love and compassion and strive to grow a little, be a little bit each day. And soon, by the grace of God, you will be doing things you never thought possible.
hope in the resurrection, let us pray. For, for leaders of the church, may God's wisdom flow in and through them in their witness to God's saving love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For areas of the world afflicted by violence, may God's hand raise up leaders who offer peaceful solutions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For families facing conflict, may the Holy Spirit lead them in embracing, understanding, and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may we receive eyes of faith to recognize the face of Christ in others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the sick and injured, particularly those we mentioned by name at this time. May the grace of the risen Lord relieve their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, including Eliza and Neo Damanado, may they have eternal rest in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers we brought to the altar today. God, with faith and love, we bring the needs of our hearts and of our world. And especially in this COVID-19 time, we ask that you lay your healing hand upon all those, especially in ICUs, and who are recovering at home. We ask that you continue to sustain and uphold doctors and nurses doing the great work of compassion and healing. We ask, Lord, that your power flow through them. Let your peace come upon us all. And Lord, may soon we all return back to normal and come willingly to give you praise here at this altar. And all this we pray in your, the name of your Son, our risen Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. My sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice, yours and mine, will be acceptable to God, who is the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. 
For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in my life. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the east, the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Bede and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and bury our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, and your compassionate and merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you as their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. We especially pray for all victims of COVID-19. There we hope.
to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. With him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And the disciples came to recognize their Lord risen from death in the breaking of bread. Most loving Jesus, I adore you with a lively faith. You are present in this sacrament by virtue of your infinite power, wisdom, and goodness. Although conscious, of my own unworthiness, I place all my hope in you. I love you, O Lord, with all my heart, and I desire to receive you now spiritually. Come, therefore, O Lord, to me in spirit. Feed me, for I am hungry. Strengthen me, for I am weak. Enliven me and sanctify me with your sacred body and blood. Deliver me from all sin and make me always obedient to your commands. Let me never be separated from you my Savior, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign, one God forever and ever. Amen.
I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.